Your health now. A national shortage of the RSV vaccine is affecting families on the Central Coast. And News Channel reporter Christina Rodriguez joins us live from Santa Maria with an update on this. Christina? Yes, there's currently an RSV shortage and a local pediatrician here from the Central Coast has tips for parents to help keep their infants safe. Isle Baez is a mother of three in Santa Maria with minimal treatments for infants. She says some of the hardest moments of motherhood is when infants get sick. Very hard because he was tiny and he didn't have, you know, all the vaccines that um, his little body needed. Baez says she spent one week rocking her baby to sleep in her arms while he recovered. I would sit him up um, and I would stay up with him on the rocking chair so that he would go to sleep um, on my arms sitting up other than flat because that's when he wouldn't be able to breathe. Pismo Beach pediatrician Dr. Ashley Tam says three out of a hundred infants will be hospitalized from RSV each year. Ideally, the newborns would actually get them before leaving the hospital if they were born in the hospital. Um, and then the second dose is for um, children that weigh more than 11 pounds. But due to the, um, the shortages of the immunization, um, it's been recommended to keep um, that to less than seven months of age. The FDA approved an antibody immunization for protection. It's actually been shown to decrease hospitalization rates by 80%. But the high demand for the RSV treatment is outpacing the supply of medication. Knowing how effective it is, that the demand was really high and it seems like the manufacturer just hasn't been able to keep up with that demand, unfortunately. Doctors recommend families to avoid large gatherings with infants that are not yet vaccinated and focus on basic ways to minimize exposure to any virus. Hand hygiene is really helpful. Um, and then also, you know, uh, cleaning and disinfecting like high contact surfaces, toys included. Due to shortages, health providers are prioritizing infants under seven months and those with heart and lung complications. Doctors are expecting more of the supply next year in 2024. Live in Santa Maria, I'm News Channel reporter Christina Rodriguez. Back to you.